No pain, no gain. It's an economic myth that has been repeated in countries around the world. That if people put up with increasing inequality, it will be better for us all in the end, because the benefits of growth will eventually trickle down. Except they don't. In many of the world's richest countries, the gap between rich and poor is at its highest in 30 years. And it's widening in China, India and South Africa too. Far from being a necessary phase in every nation's progress, rising inequality is a policy choice, and a bad one at that. It's actually a failure of economic design, and it harms us all. So don't wait for economic growth to even things up, because it may never happen. Economies that are divisive by default must become distributive by design. That means going beyond redistributing income to redistributing wealth too. Especially the wealth that comes from controlling land, controlling money creation, controlling business, technology and ideas. This century, we have the chance to embed distributive design at the heart of our economies, if we choose to make it happen.